Okay, so just a short video here today. I wasn't planning to uh, record a video today, but anyway, uh, here I am. Um, are you ready for the new lockdown? <clears throat> it's coming. And some of us, we have been saying this for a long time. And I said, I think it will be here by September, maybe October. But now I think it will, we will be in lockdown sooner than that. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, but I know that there are governments now planning for a new lockdown. <clears throat> This time it will be different because lots of people are angry, frustrated, and they uh, <laughs> they want to do something. They want to blame someone. They want to they want to get violent. And I'm sorry to say this, but. And I hope I am wrong, but it's just something that we tend to see when people get desperate and fed up. People get violent. And what have we been hearing from <laughs> mainstream media, certain politicians, um, for the last few months we have been hearing that it's the people who refuse to have the V those are the people that are the reason that we are still in this situation those are the people to blame for this coming lockdown and whatever bad happens next it's because of the people who refuse to have the V and they are conspiracy theorists. They are right, extreme right-wingers and uh, white supremacists and uh, they are, they're just bad people, you know. So, what do you think will happen when people sit there in the lockdown and we get additional problems like maybe food shortage? rising prices, <sighs> inflation. What do you think will happen? You have a group of people who are blamed by your government for bad things. For the bad things happening in your life. Historically, what has happened to people in that minority? What? What do you think is going to happen next? Violence. Oh yeah. People who have been public about not taking the V, not having the mystery juice injected into them, those people will be targeted. So, if you're one of those people, I am one of those people. You should be prepared. I'm not saying you should go and do something crazy, not at all. Just be prepared. Because there will be lots of angry people out there. Angry, stupid people out there. And they want you to pay. They want you to be the bad guy. And they're being told on a daily basis that you are the bad guy. I must say that I am sad to see this development and it's very hard, or should I say impossible, to find anything good about the politicians, you know, your president over in the USA, the old man, he thinks he's saying. these people saying 
you know, leaders, so-called so leaders, who are saying that we still have a pandemic because of the people who don't have the V, who refuse to have the V. And they are the reason why we still have a pandemic. That's what they're saying. It's such a dangerous thing to say. When this is over, we must never forget what they said, because it's, it's unforgivable. And uh, I will held, hold them responsible for the violence that we are going to see. The violence towards people who are public and vocal about not having the V. And I guess we shouldn't be surprised when people are applauding. And more people, you know, and also mainstream media, they will write, they will angle this in such a way that, well, they had it coming. They deserved it, you know, because we are the bad people, aren't we? Yeah, we're right-wing extremists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right-wing extremists. It's ironic, isn't it? The nerve of these people. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to say this and um, yeah, I have another video coming up tomorrow on this video, sorry, on this channel. And um, it will be a bushcraft video and uh, yeah, we need to get our minds off this you know now and then we can't as i said in my previous video we can't sit in this stinking mess all day long but also bushcraft will help you be prepared but anyway that's all for now stay strong and uh, yeah stay strong